Capture One has finally announced its release of version 22, which now incorporates uh, HDR and stitching for panoramas, something which it didn't have before. Now we've got it. Let's compare this with Lightroom and see what you guys think. Hi, okay, so Capture One, which we're gonna call C1 from now on, is probably the best software for editing medium format images, which have a dynamic range of, uh, I don't know, my Fuji has up to 17 stops of dynamic. It's amazing, our eyes only have 11. So uh, to be able to actually take advantage of that, Capture One has developed the software and it does a really good job. Lightroom doesn't do such a good job on it. It can't quite pull, you pull the slider all the way over and it hasn't maxed out yet. You open that up in Photoshop, then you go back into RAW in Photoshop, open that up again, and then pull the slider further to get the full max about it. So, Capture One is a software which for detection photographers like I want to use, but we have not been able to use it because they didn't have the stitching and the merging HDR, which I use all the time. In fact, for this test, I've gone into my living room and used the dust principle, as I coined, uh, uh, the name was dual axis shifting. We have uh, uh, taken uh, nine uh, different squares uh, with a tilt shift action, and uh, those nine pictures are then bracketed by seven stops, uh, not seven stops, seven brackets uh, with uh, two stop intervals inside that. So uh, we've taken these pictures and I want to see how they stack up between the two softwares. Okay, so here I'm in Lightroom right now and I've got all the images open. Let's hit them all, say select all, go to merge, hit merge and tell it to get on with it. Uh, as it's doing that, I'm going to show you this little thing. No, can't do it that way. I have to do it this way. Uh, this is the announcement which they've made, Explore, just got this email yesterday, multi-stitching directions, get stitching, all of this stuff, get merging. This is what they proudly announced. All right, let's put that away for now. Uh, and uh, go back to my screen there, and we're in Lightroom. Okay, Lightroom has switched screens. There it is. It's already ready to merge. Let's go and hit merge. All right, so Lightroom is doing that. So now we'll go into uh, C1. I've imported them all. You see them all down here. All right, so let's select one. Command A, select them all. Right mouse click. Go up here. You have a choice to stitch panorama or HDR merge. You don't have both. Now the problem lies that if I say stitch panorama, it doesn't know the merging of the HDR. Lightroom does. It asks you, do you want to use this as HDR merge too? And we say yes. Here it doesn't do it. Here it just says generating previews. Let's switch back to Lightroom. It's in the process of doing everything. Okay, uh, let me just show you what this computer is all about so that you understand. We're talking about a serious computer. Uh, it's got uh, 28 cores, uh, half a terabyte of RAM, and God knows whatever else. Uh, let's put this away for now. This little beast over here cost me some $34,000 and that I bought the RAM on the cheap side, not Apple, so it would have been even more. It's got tremendous grunt, which we need for putting these images together. Capture One is sitting here with generating previews. When I bought my Fuji F, uh, GFX100, uh, Fuji offered me a Capture One license, which I, take, I took. I had that. Then uh, Capture One announced that they are doing the 21 version, and they wanted some hundred something dollars for that to upgrade. I did that. Still, we don't have any guarantee. Still no merging from panels and everything. Now, they've come in and they said, yes, they do it. All right. So I'm going to see how we're doing in Lightroom here. See, Lightroom over here is about halfway through, and I know that it takes about two and a half minutes or something like that to do it. So that should be coming through shortly. Uh, but I have to sadly say that if I go back to 
C1, you see this generating preview, it sits at generating preview and it does not move from there. It cannot stitch, and it doesn't understand all these images put together and it just spits a dummy. It just sits there generating previews, generating previews and nothing happens. Lightroom is nearly there. I just saw it move its thick little tail there for me a little bit. Uh, we're into it nearly three minutes and here we are. There it is. Not only is it, it taken all the images, stacked them together and produced a perfect HDR image with all the images. Okay, so well, am I going to upgrade uh, to 22? No, until they can do that and there's no point as far as I'm concerned. Your opinions all, including C1's opinion, be much appreciated. I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye. <laughs>